Hey, that was Black Number One by Typo Negative, and what a coincidence! Coincidence. Look who I'm here with, Typo Negative, and let's see who you are. Johnny. Peter Steele. And Barrow Clawson. Uh, now, Typo Negative is from uh, where? You said Brooklyn, New York. That's what I said. Yeah. Now, I mean, a lot of bands recently have been coming up from like New York, like you know, uh, Biohazard and stuff like that. I mean, do you think there's a distinctive sound from that area, or? I don't think so. I think it's just a uh, sad coincidence that we're all from the same place. Well, I mean, typo negative, as far as like, I know a lot of bands say that, you know, we're diverse and this and that, but I mean, for me, typo negative is like very diverse band as far as you can't like really categorize the music mm -hmm. and stuff, but how would you just best try to describe what, what the band sounds like? It's a uh, combination of everything that we like personally, which is goth, psychedelic, metal, hardcore, alternative, industrial combination of those things. I mean, because it's a Bloody Kisses is their CD, and uh, what did you, where did you all record that at? Uh, Systems 2 in Brooklyn, New York. Now, you all are signed to Roadrunner, right? And would, were you all on, a, on an independent label before that, or just you went straight to Roadrunner? This has been our one and only label. How is uh, distribution going for you guys? It's going really well now. And you're, you're on tour, and is there any, how's the touring going? It's been going all right. You know, as all right as touring will go. Is there any plans for like a overseas tour? Have you all have toured over there yet? Or well, after we finish this tour with Motley Crue, which will end on September 15th, we will probably be getting over to Europe sometime uh, in early autumn, and uh, then we may do a U.S. tour, headlining maybe next spring or something. Okay. And if y'all have any plans for the next CD yet, or? I have the whole next album written already. I'm just waiting to, you know, show these guys all the parts, and hopefully we'll get back into the studio around Christmas, and there'll be a new product uh, for sale late next spring, early summer of 95. 
Uh, right now we're going to play another video by Typo Negative. It's just Christian Woman. Um, it's basically, just is there any story behind that song? or? The uh, story is uh, it's about a 13-year-old Catholic girl who has a sexual fantasy about being involved with uh, Jesus Christ. And on that note, uh, check out Christian Woman by Typo Negative. We're back. Is that it? That was, dude, just one uh, quick thing. Pause okay. right quick. That was Christian Woman by Typo Negative, and we're still here with Typo Negative, as you can see right here. Now, uh, you are again, Farrah Far Fawcett? That's correct. And Farrah Fawcett is the? Keyboardist. And it's now a keyboard in this band, like I said before, it was, it's a really diverse band. I mean, how does a keyboard interplay with the, the music that you are playing? It just continues to ruin it further and further. I mean, how important is the keyboard to the overall sound of the band? Completely unimportant. Okay, um, well, how would you describe, uh, as far as the um, CD is, how much of the uh, CD are you playing tonight, as far as your set list? Uh, I don't know, we haven't made a set list yet. We'll probably do that, like, while we're on stage. How, how, how much do uh, y'all ever play, like, new stuff, or is there any old stuff that you haven't recorded yet that you play, or? No, it'll be a mix of the first album and Bloody Kisses. Okay, now the first album, what was that released by y'all on Independent, or? Same thing, Roadrunner ripoff. I mean, records. <laughs> and what was that called? Uh, Slow, Deep, and Hard. Okay. And was that a pretty cool album, do you think? Uh, yeah. It was very different than this one, but that was a long time ago, and we're a lot older. Is it still in distribution now, or has it been cut off a long time? It was barely in distribution when it was first out. Well, um, y'all have anything else you want to add? Nothing. Um, like you said, you're going to be on a... You're gonna, you're gonna be headlining. Uh, when did you say? This summer? I mean, we'll be headlining in Europe this autumn, and uh, we will probably doing be doing a headlining U.S. tour sometime next spring. All right. Well, cool. Uh, right now, we're gonna pitch to a break, and when we come back, more videos. So check it out. <coughs> These are my three friends: Wall, Rigo, and George. <laughs> From my box to yours, and he answers his pants and, and like waddles towards the camera. It's great. It was so fucking funny, man. I yeah, watch it go for it. Ready? Say when. Whenever you're ready, man. Hi, this is Peter Steele of Typo Negative with the rest of the animals in the band, and you're listening to and watching the Video Zoo. All right, thanks, guys. Hey, that was Typo Negative with Black Number One here on Video Zoo right now. We're joined with uh, Josh, and Ken Josh and Kenny from uh, Typo Negative. We've got uh, Josh the keyboardist and Kenny the guitarist. And uh, now you guys have just, I mean, when did you start the, uh, you're on tour with Queen's right now. When did you start that tour? About 10 weeks ago. 10 weeks ago. And it's continuing till the end of it? End of July. And then after that, um, what's your, what are your all's plans? Well, hopefully we'll go in and record the next album and then just get right back out and continue again. Because you guys have been on the road since the beginning of um, Bloody Kisses, right? Um, no, actually, we took six months off in the beginning when it first came out and decided to go full-fledged touring, and that's what we've been doing for the last 16, now probably 17 months. And you guys are used to, I mean, pretty much used to that constant touring, right? You never get used to it. <laughs> now, I mean, Bloody Kisses, when it came out, it seems like it didn't take off quite um, it's fast because now it seems like everyone is like starting to get to know who type O negative is, and I mean the CD seems to be catching on and selling more. I mean, what what do you think the explanation for that is? A lot of hard work. Yeah, I think you know if we finally got out and tore our asses off, and that really awakened the public. Now, how would you explain? I mean, the style of type O negative. I mean, when you listen to Bloody Kisses, you really can't pinpoint a specific. You know, they're they're heavy, they're this and that. I mean, to me, it's like a wide variety of like music and stuff, how would you best describe it? Gothadelic. Dark and sensual. I mean, is that something that when you first were in, when Typo Negative first started, was that something the main force that you guys were striving for? Yes. 
And I mean, because you guys are on the Black Sabbath tribute album, how was that? But we steal so many riffs from them, they decided we should be on the tribute album, so. So what was uh, your, I mean, you guys played uh, the song Black Sabbath, was that your choice from day one or what? It was one of the choices that were left. Um, most of the good songs were already picked by uh, the other bands that were going to be on a compilation. We were left with, you know, maybe 10 or 12 choices. We ended up picking that. No, if, if you couldn't have done Black Sabbath, what one were you going to want to do? We had been playing Paranoid live for a long time, but uh, Megadeth was already doing that on the album, so the guy who put it together, Bob Chiaparty, asked us to pick another one, suggesting Black Sabbath. Sounded like a good suggestion. Yeah. And it's, I mean, definitely sounds like it's a great song on that CD. And um, now right now, when this tour is over, you said you're going back in the studio, right? I hope so. I mean, a lot of, I mean, have you been writing riffs on the road, or? There has been new material worked on at our 10 second sound checks and so forth, so. So you're just piecing it all together, right? And no, actually, we just got a lot of pieces. <laughs> right now, we're going to show uh, Chris Juman by uh, Typo Negative, and we'll be back in a little bit more with uh, Typo Negative. See you in a little bit. Now we'll just do a couple more seconds of questions here. <coughs> this is the new issue of, of High Times, right? Ready? Hey, that was Christian Woman, Typo Negative, sitting here with uh, Josh and Kenny from Typo Negative, and you guys are in this uh, month's edition of High Times Magazine. Is that when did when did you all do this interview? I don't remember. I was too stoned. I didn't do it, actually. You didn't do it, actually? Um, so you haven't read this article yet, have you? I did the interview. Though. You did the interview, though. Okay. So, a few shots, but you know. So you lived it. Now, how do you guys feel about, um, I was just reading, well, people from uh, Roadrunner are telling me that uh, if you care to comment on, I heard Pete, uh, the singer, is going to be doing a spread in Playgirl. What's all that about? Uh, it's about sex. Is that something that they, did they ask you all to be in it, or? No, um, since he's the tallest, they assumed he has the biggest dick. All right, then. Enough said. Now, um, what, I mean, if you're going to be on the tribute, tribute CDs that you guys were going to be on, or? Excuse me? Were there going to be any other tribute CDs that you got, or just Black Sabbath was the only one? No, that was the only one, actually. Is that the only band that you feel influenced you guys through the ages, or? No, I think if there's a Beatles tribute album, we could do a Beatles cover. Well, there you go. Uh, right now, we're going to go to break, and I want to thank these two guys for hanging out with me. It's been a pleasure, guys. And uh, check out. We'll be right back. 60 seconds. And if you can, let's do some quick video video IDs, if that's cool. Video Zoom. That's easy. I like that. No numbers, no letters. You start. This is Josh. This is Josh. This is Kenny from Typo Negative. And you're watching Video Zoo. Next one, just uh, basically say the same thing, but at the end, just say, here's our latest video on Video Zoom. <clears throat> right. Sorry. This is Josh. This is Kenny from Typo Negative. And you're about to see our latest video on Video Zoo. I'm sorry. All right. This last one here. Um my last show was in December, and if there's just some way you can like just say, you know, who you are, the name of the band, and just like say, you know, good luck, Dave, or however you want to defame me. Um, where's your show going? Oh, well, I'm graduating, and... I hear you. Yeah, the show is still going to be on, but I'm not going to be hosting anymore. Cool. You're giving it to me again. You start. You never did it this sure time. you can play tonight? No. Never. This is Josh. This is Kenny from Typo Negative. And Dave, you did a good fucking job on Video Zoo. We love you. Don't ever stop. The hell with graduation. Stay in school. We need you here. Yeah, that's great, man. Thanks. So, how do you guys, how does Typo Negative feel? You're telling. Bootlegging and stuff like that. I mean, when people come to the show, if you caught, never caught someone, or if you did, would you do anything to them? Or is it a problem with your show, basically? Oh, well, we have a death squad that goes out and instantly evaporates anyone that bootlegs anything. So, I mean, have you ever caught anyone yet bootlegging? Uh, actually, yeah, in Brooklyn we found somebody selling a bunch of videos once, and we did stop. I really don't mind bootlegging as an idea, but when a band is at, you know, in a poor condition, a typo negative is in, I think it does hurt sales somewhat. Yeah, 
You know, if a band, say like Metallica, was so big and doing so well, if they get bootlegged, it doesn't bother me as much. If we ever get that big and we get bootlegged, I'll probably have less to say about it. <laughs> Kev can take over the mic now. Would you push anything? I hope not. Just basically look through her hand. There's a zoom, it's already cord, so we're ready to rock. Hey, what's up? Uh, welcome back to Video Zoo. Right now, as I promised, we're here with two of the members from uh, Typo Negative. Here with Johnny and Josh, right? Correct. Yeah. Johnny's the drummer. Josh is the keyboard player. Um, first, now you guys, I mean, Bloody Kisses has been out for over a year. It was released in like August of 93, right? Correct. And it just seems like all of a sudden, like now within the last couple of months, it's like it's people are finally like catching on to it. Why do you think, why do you think so? Well, we know why. It's because the government is pumping pollution into the air and IQs are decreasing, you know, <laughs> per se. So the human species is on its way down and we're the band for it. What do you think? I have to agree <laughs> with what he said. Ditto. Now, I mean, um, a lot of bands say the cliche thing that, you know, they can't ca categorize their music because it's, you know, so different. But to me, like Typo Negative, you really can't categorize your all's music because it's like, it's not really heavy and it's not, I mean, how would you describe it the best you can? A uh, bunch of noise. Uh, we would call it slop rock. <laughs> no, I mean, it's like Typo Negative kind of has like a, a humor side to it. Because when I saw you all in Dallas, didn't you open with like the dating game song, theme song? Is that, I mean, what, what why, I mean, Buddy, what's your idea about that? Uh, it's just a joke, like the whole rest of the set. And like everything that we do, it's all a joke. So, I mean, so basically, I mean, that's another thing. It's like people think that when they see you and they hear your music, they think you guys are so serious, but it seems like you do guys have like a, like kind of like a lighter, jokier side to you. I mean, how important do you think that is to convey to the, um, the fans and stuff? I don't think it's really important. It's just that's the way we are. I have nothing to say. I don't know. Well, great. Now, you guys were on the uh, Nativity and Black, Black Sabbath tribute album. You guys did the song Black Sabbath. It's probably the coolest song on the CD. How did that, why did you guys pick that song over, like, the rest of the catalog? Well, actually, we were doing Paranoid Life for quite a long time, and Bob Party, who put the album together, heard our version of Paranoid and liked it a lot. And unfortunately, Megadeth had already done Paranoid, so he asked us to go in and do something else that hadn't been done yet. So it was either that or a monkey song, but that wouldn't make the record, so we were Good, Good choice. Thank you. Now, you guys have been with Pantera how long on this tour so far? Since the middle of January. And how long? Are you going to be till the, till the rest of the tour or what? Yeah, till the uh, April 2nd it ends. And then what are you going to do? Uh, it looks like um, we're slated to go out with uh, Queensryche after this. All right. And now, I mean, since Bloody Kiss has been out for, you know, August 93, when? Could we expect the next album by chance? Who knows? When this record runs out of steam. It just seems like it just started picking up steam, so you think you're going to be um, still torn, as, I mean, all that time? There really is a big question mark to it. <laughs> so, I mean, do you have any new songs planned for, for the new album yet? Yeah, the whole album is planned. Uh, I'm sure it will evolve or de-evolve and change, but uh, who knows what the future holds. I'd be lying if I said I had that answer. Well, cool. I want to thank these guys for taking the time out. Right now, they're going to go sound check and 
If you're going to catch a show, you better hurry up. So uh, I'll see you a little bit. Thanks, Scott. Thank you, brother. Thanks for having us, No man. problem.